Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. This is a review of the Australian maker Daisy and Bird. Um, I have these um, ones that you see, these six, and um, I've had quite a few of them quite a while. Um, you would have seen these two in the um, on Instagram quite a bit. Um, I do generally tend to wear the Totoro and Disney key one quite a bit as well. Um, and the Star Wars Overnighter, of course. Um, I have actually de-stashed a few Daisy and Bird ones because they are actually really, really well made. As you can see, the prints are really, really cute. Um, when I got this Harry Potter one, it came with a... Uh, like a black Harry Potter one. Um, I think it had owls on it maybe. Um, it will be, um, there will be photos on my Instagram of it um, and probably in the d -stash video as well. Um, but I've had some of these quite a while. Um, now we'll just go over them first. Um, this Star Wars one is 15 inches um, and it's got a 3 inch snap. Um, the rest of them have a 2.5 inch snap. Um, these two here um, are 8.25. This one here is 9.25. And these two here are 9 and 10. Well, mm, th these, these two here are 10 inches. The Totoro and the Disney Key. They, um, so this is cotton lycra. The rest are cotton knit. And they are, um, have got bamboo fleece and cotton cores and WinPro on the back. Um, the main difference is that this heavy has more um, bamboo fleece in the core than the um, moderates and the liners. So um, all these all have the same amount of core in them. Um, the reason why you don't see this one very much is because I kind of had wet hands and wasn't patient one day and kind of ripped this. Um, as you can see, it's actually still attached. Um, so I haven't actually lost the thing. I might just need to get it um, repaired or re-snapped at some point um, so I can use it. But it was a really, really cute print um, with a really, really cute slogan on it. If you can read that there. Um, so that's why I've kept it. Um, so I can get it repaired. Um, this, of course, is a Harry Potter um, with Hermione, Ron and Harry and Hedwig and a golden snitch. Um, this one here is there's no such thing as a Gruffalo. Um, this one here tends to stain always in this bit here for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it is blue, that's why it stains, but it always seems to be in the same spot. So I've had to kind of quite frequently stain treat this pad, but it is actually one of my favourites because the print is so adorable. Um, again, I'm a really big Totoro fan, um, and I do have a giant Totoro um, plush, or plushy. so um, when I came across this bad pad, I couldn't um, resist it. Um, this one here, she has the two stars on the wing here. Um, so, um, as you can see, um, these ones have the her tag on them, and these two do not have her tag on them. They are very exceptionally well sewn. They have not in any way, um, as you can see, come apart in... Um, and what they've done um, so they have, they're not coming apart they're not being destructive it's actually been really really good especially because I do tend to wear this one and um, at least these two quite a bit and they have not really faded or um, the stitching hasn't come out or which is all the kind of things that you look for in um, your pads is that their lack of um, disintegration. This one here, as you can see, is a one star, and this is what her tag looks like. Um, this one here, as you can see, is a moderate with two stars on the wing. Um, this is a Totoro, um, and again has 
This one actually has D and B sewn into the wing on this side. Maybe it's easy to see from this side. So it has D and B and then has the two stars on this wing. Okay, so this one here has two stars even though I wear it as a liner. And then this one here um, has the, the two stars up in this corner. So again, as you can see, the um, I haven't actually worn that one tons, so I'll use one that I've worn a lot more. As you can see, it hasn't peeled. The um, Win Pro backer hasn't peeled. The stitching is still amazing. The colours of the pad are still amazing. Um, to be honest, there is a good customer service with this company. Um, all of the pads that I have um, then given to friends to try them out. This is, as you all well know, because I tell you guys a lot that I'm a really big Evil Queen fan. Um, ironically enough, she was probably right. And this is obviously her apple, um, her poisoned apple as the... Um, here so that's kind of why I will almost always pick them um, because of the evil queen print um, again these are really really adorable prints as you can see um, they're really consistent sizing with her pads she has really cute little prints um, she is on Etsy um, so what you can do is go follow her on Etsy if I find it I will link it down below um, and she makes a variety of other products too, which I obviously don't have. Um, but very good makeup, very well made. Would recommend if you like these types of prints or styles, because obviously it's quite a standard style. These are not highly shaped pads, but are worth getting if you like this style, because they do stand the test of time and are really have really, really held up really well. So again, this is an Australian maker on Etsy. Her name is Daisy and Bird. And she makes a variety of things, including cloth pads. And it's definitely worth your while to have a look at her. I will also link my subscription button um, up on the screen. So you're probably going to see it about now. Um, hit that one if you like. Um, also, I will link the playlist to all of the reviews, um, which I think there are probably about 30 videos in there on, on reviews of not only a variety of cloth pad makers, but kind of reviews from December 2018 and now the reviews from December 2019 after having used their products for over a year. So it will give you some perspective. I'm not actually watching any of the previous um, reviews that I've done on a, on these makers um, so that I can actually kind of give you the review of me um, now having experienced them. Um, there are only going to be three makers that I'm not reviewing um, and that will be um, Bella Luna Inspirations, Sunshine Bums and A Splendid Story um, and that's only because I've literally recently actually done their reviews um, and so nothing much would have changed in between. Um, I think the oldest one in that group is Bella Luna Inspirations from July and the other two are from October and November. So there's just, I don't see any point in reviewing them so close together. Um, but they're the only three I won't be reviewing in this 20, December 2019 review festival. So um, other than that, Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. I hope you've enjoyed this review and I will catch up with you all in the next video. Bye everyone.